Okay, so before starting the vlog, let me tell you that I made a blunder in the starting sequence. मैंने शूट करना स्टार्ट कर दिया एंड द माइक वॉज इन वर्किंग एंड आई केप्ट ऑन स्पीकिंग एंड कुछ भी रिकॉर्ड नहीं हुआ सो आई एम ऑब्वियसली गोना एड अ वॉइस ओवर प्लीज बेयर विथ मी एंड लेट स्टार्ट द ब्लॉग सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टुडे इज द थर्टियथ ऑफ जुलाई एंड टुडे वी वी मीन्स मी एंड माई कॉलेज फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू हिमसर सो दे इज अ कॉन्फ्रेंस हैपनिंग देयर विच इज़ कॉल्ड ओराकल एंड वी बेसिकली हैव द प्रिवलेज टू अटेंड फोर मेडिकल वर्कशॉप्स इट्स गुना बी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फन वी हैव लैप्रोस्कोपिक स्किल्स सर्जिकल सूचरिंग बेसिक लाइफ सपोर्ट एंड इंजेक्शन प्रैक्टिस वी आर वेरी एक्साइटेड and yes let's start getting ready i decided to wear this formal shirt today this one is from sold store i paired it up with a black jeans uh for my hair i'm tying them up in a high ponytail and i'm adding some sunscreen and a moisturizer and you know that this look is very formal so i don't want to add a lot of makeup but you guys know the one thing that i cannot survive without is an eyeliner and what better than using the mama earth soothing waterproof eyeliner it's enriched with the goodness of almond oil castor oil and vitamin e almond oil moisturizes and soothes the eye castor oil helps you get thicker and fuller lashes you'll get a perfect matte finish in just one stroke and it dries just within 10 seconds it has a 10 hour long stay formula not just this it's ophthalmologically tested as well the best part it's made safe so certified and has zero toxins or chemicals and so can be used on a daily basis i'm sure you do want to try this one out don't you go ahead check out the links in my description and do not forget to use my code mit2022 to get an extra 20% discount this code is only applicable on their official app and website whenever you purchase from mama earth they link your order on the website to a tree they plant you can track this tree through your order by 2025 mama earth is aiming to plant 1 million trees as a part of this initiative these products will also be available on amazon nike and flipkart so go check it out meanwhile i'll just make my bag not adding a lot of things just an umbrella and a notebook and my water bottle and we are all set to go thoda thoda drizzle ho raha tha so we decided to open our umbrellas we took a cab and we reached him sir it took us approximately 40 minutes to reach there this is the actual college building let's go inside shrija being shrija okay first workshop was about laparoscopy so laparoscopy is a kind of surgical procedure in which we put a camera inside the abdominal cavity of the patient to visualize the organs in the abdomen and permits a small scale surgery we do not need to give a very huge incision on their abdomen so here we were taught how to lift objects how do doctors actually perform the laparoscopy using these particular instruments by visualizing the cavity through a camera screen In our second workshop of surgical suturing we were taught the surgical square knot or the reeves knot or the surgeon's knot which as our professor told us will be our bread and butter if we become surgeons it was a bit difficult for me to catch but i did it after 4 to 5 attempts The third workshop was about basic life support basically CPR which is cardiopulmonary resuscitation you might have seen this procedure happening in a lot of movies and series and this is how you perform it it's a lot difficult when you actually do it because the ribs and the sternum are really hard to press but again after 4 to 5 failed attempts i was finally able to give CPR 
The final workshop was all about safe injection practices, when to give an injection, when not to give and how to give. नहीं यार मैं डाली अगर ये आया तुम्हारे ब्लॉग में मैं फीड डाल ओके गाइस अगर मेरे को कुछ हो जाए इस सब के बाद तो ये मेरे क्या गैस कंप्लेन कर रही है हाय यू गाइस आई एम बैक होम और हॉस्टल व्हाटेवर यू कॉल इट uh today was a beautiful day this was a one of a kind experience i'm so glad that i was able to you know attend this workshop and gain so much out of it all right abhi i have to do thoda sa kaam actually i have to like uh, upload a video which is the july takeaways wala video actually so it's all edited and everything mujhe bas use upload karna hai uh, because uh, kal it has to go live tomorrow morning and then i also have to like uh, get an approval from another brand for another video aur uska bhi edit complete karna hai but that i'm thinking ki main kal karungi uska final edit complete and i'm thinking kal i'll go to a cafe to study it's going to be fun bahut din se dhang se padhai nahi kiya hai to kal ja kar we going to study full day long it's going to be fun all right so that is about it abhi i have to order food also i'm really hungry क्योंकि नौ बज गए हैं तो आई डोंट फील लाइक गोइंग टू द कैंटीन और समथिंग टू ईट तो आई एल ऑर्डर ओनली एंड देन वील वॉच अ मूवी टू गैदर सो इट्स गोन बी अ फन सैटरडे नाइट लेट्स गो Let's kick start a very very productive study session now. I'm studying microbiology today because I have an upcoming test. I decided to study the respiratory system first, but uh, I got a few references from general microbiology in it and I realized that I had forgotten my general microbiology lectures. In the meanwhile, I also got my coffee, so I decided to have my coffee. This was yum by the way, and then I started to revise my general microbiology about culture media about uh, how do we culture the bacteria all the culturing techniques all the kinds of media that we use and all of that I also ordered this chili cheese garlic toast which was also amazing and made a really nice study snack the study session here was very very productive because i went there in very dead hours of around 11 to 4 pm where the cafe was completely empty and i could study in silence i used some lo-fi music uh in my earphones and yes it was an amazing vibe here Also do let me know if you too are a student what do you prefer the general standard method of making notes using a pen and paper or using digital notes what seems more convenient to you and what do you use in your daily routine 
I personally love both the methods but each one has their own pros and cons. I feel that when I write it myself using a pen and paper it retains much better but since I'm a med student and there are so many books and so many notes to carry it becomes really difficult to concise them in a single notebook which is why iPad works as a great device to put all your notes and all your books together and study paperless. I returned in the evening around 5 and then it started raining. I studied a little bit more in the hostel and that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.